In this video, I'm going to show you a number of factors that will contribute to algae growth in your pool and ways to prevent and treat the algae growth. In this video, I'll also go over using yellow treat to treat yellow and mustard algae. I'll give you a brief overview of the swamp treat for green and black algae, and I'll go over the no more problem. This is a preventative chemical that you add after you've treated the algae and eliminated it from your pool. This will keep the algae from returning. One of the most common reasons why algae will grow is that your chlorine level has zeroed out in your pool. So the number one way to prevent algae is having a balanced pool. You want to have a chlorine level of at least 2 to 3.0 in your pool at all times, especially in the summertime. Conditioner is a factor also. If you have too little conditioner in your pool, chlorine will burn off too quickly. So the best way to prevent algae growth is to keep a well-balanced pool all year long. Another major factor of algae growth in your pool is your filtration system. If your filter is dirty or not running properly, definitely will cause algae growth because it's not circulating the water properly in your pool. And you also may have an undersized filter for your pool, so you want to go ahead and upgrade your filter if your filter is too small. You want to make sure you clean your skimmer basket regularly, that way the pool has good flow. Along with having a clean skimmer basket, you want to make sure your pump basket is also clean. So the equipment is a factor in algae formation and prevention. Another factor is how much organic debris will fall into your pool. So if you have trees over your pool, you definitely may get algae growth in certain parts of the season. You want to make sure you clean your pool regularly to get all the leaves and debris out of the pool. And you can see this pool also has a lot of organic debris growing right into the pool with this jasmine bush. And proper pool maintenance is a key factor in preventing algae growth. You definitely want to skim your pool, eliminate any organic debris that may be in your pool every week. And brushing your pool regularly also helps to prevent algae growth. If you have ducks frequenting your pool, you may have a problem with algae growing in there also. And there's one school of thought that believes that high phosphate levels in your pool also contribute to algae growth. Another contributing factor is the overall design of your pool. This one here has a lot of rock formations with crevices in it, so I noticed that algae tends to grow in those crevices in this pool. Algae tends to like to grow in the shady areas of your pool. So pool placement is also a factor in algae growth. This pool here spends a lot of time in the shade. And depending on your system, very low water can also cause algae growth. The pump is not circulating the water due to the low water level. Another contributing factor to algae growth is not running your pool long enough. You want to make sure that you run your pool to get one cycle of water through. That's all the water in your pool passing through the filter at least once per day. And in most cases, if you keep your pool balanced all year long, you're not going to have any problem with algae growing in your pool. See this pool has some yellow algae here in the deep end of the pool. You want to test the pool water. This one here, the chlorine level is about 1.0. You want to definitely raise it up to 3.0 or higher before you start the algae treatment. Next, you want to take a steel brush, or if you have a vinyl or fiberglass pool, just use a regular brush to brush the algae off. My preferred method of treating algae is with the sodium bromide. This is the yellow treat by United Chemicals. Okay, so after you raise the chlorine level up to the appropriate level, we can start the algae treatment. We'll take the algae brush and go ahead and brush the algae off the wall. So a little bit of sodium bromide goes a long way to killing algae. The algae here in this deep end here, there was a little bit on the steps and the shallow end also. Just one capful plus one gallon of liquid chlorine will be sufficient to kill the algae, no problem. If you have more algae, you definitely want to double the dose and then double the dose of the liquid chlorine or Clorox bleach. What I'd like to do is sprinkle the sodium bromide over the spot that's affected by the algae. Once I do that, I come directly behind it with the liquid chlorine and pour it directly over the area that I poured the bromide in. There's a little bit yellow here in the step area, so that's the sodium bromide. Now I'm going to pour the liquid chlorine right over it. 
So the most effective way to treat the yellow algae is with sodium bromide directly over the spot. So monitor the chlorine level closely during the week. Make sure that the chlorine level stays above 3.0. If you need to, add some more liquid chlorine to your pool. If your pool has green algae or if it has black algae, you definitely want to use a swamp treat and get rid of the algae in there. It's also a sodium bromide based formula. And so if your pool looks like this, you definitely want to use a swamp treat on it. It's been formulated so that it will leave a residual chlorine level, even though it's a sodium bromide product. So if you struggle with an algae problem in your pool on a continuous basis, no more problems by United Chemicals is a great product you can add to your pool. This will prevent algae from returning to your pool. So no more problems is very really easy to use. You have to add an initial dose of 3 ounces per 5,000 gallons of water. So no more problems is a sodium bromide based formula. It also has some clarifier in here and other ingredients that will enhance the sodium bromide that will help prevent the algae growth and kill any algae that may form. And there are many tools online that you can use to calculate how much chlorine to add to your pool to bring it up to 3.0 or above. You can see that it's marked here with ounces on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and add 12 ounces here. I'm going to just spray it directly in the pool. Okay, so now that I had an initial dose of no more problems, all you need to do now is add the maintenance dose to keep the algae from returning. You can also add the maintenance dose to the sodium bromide product if you want, but the no more problems again has enhanced formula that has a clarifier and also enhances the sodium bromide in the pool. That's a quick look at algae in your pool water, ways to treat it and ways to prevent it.